What is a pre-listing home inspection and should I do one before selling my house? Well, in most real estate transactions in Arizona, the buyer and seller first agree on a sales price and then the buyer performs home inspections and then they come back to the seller and try to negotiate these repairs to be made. It is during the negotiation of these repairs that most real estate deals fall apart. But why is this? First, let me introduce myself. I'm Patrick Chamberlain with the Continental Realty Team, author of The Ultimate Guide to Tucson Real Estate, and I've helped hundreds of people buy or sell a home in Tucson. So why do most deals fall apart during this negotiation of repairs? Well, sellers tend to overestimate the condition of their home and underestimate the cost of repairs necessary. This leaves the seller between a rock and a hard place when the buyers come asking for repairs. The seller doesn't have room in their budget to make these repairs, but if they don't make these repairs, the buyer can cancel the contract. One way to avoid this sticky situation is to perform a pre-listing home inspection. A couple benefits of doing this inspection is one, you know the condition of the home and you have a good idea of what the cost of these repairs will be so that when you go to negotiate a sales price, you know how much room to leave in your budget for these possible repairs. Second, if you're a handy homeowner, you can get this home inspection and you can probably make a few of these fixes yourself or hire a contractor to come out and make these repairs in advance so that these items won't come up during the sale of your home. And third, when the buyer, when they know the condition of your home in advance, it, it takes a little bit away from their leverage when it comes to negotiating the repairs on the sale because there's no surprise factor. They knew about these repairs before going into the contract with you. But like all good things, there are some drawbacks. A couple of drawbacks from doing a pre-listing home inspection is, well, one, you have to pay for it as the seller. If you don't do a pre-listing home inspection, the buyer is typically the one who's paying for the inspections. A uh, second drawback is that you may go ahead and make some of the repairs found on the home inspection, but just because you thought they were a necessary repair doesn't mean that the buyer would have asked for these repairs to be made. So you may, you may be making unnecessary repairs. And third, just because you did a home inspection does not mean that the buyer is not gonna hire their own home inspector to come out and perform a home inspection. Their home inspector may find things that your home inspector did not find. So there is still a small chance of unknown or surprise repairs that the buyer is going to ask for. Ultimately, the pros and cons of doing a pre-listing home inspection is up to you, but to me, I feel like the benefits of doing a pre-listing home inspection definitely outweigh the risks of doing one. If you guys are thinking about selling your home and you want me to dive deeper into this pre-listing home inspection, or if you just have any questions about the selling process, I would love to help you through that. Please give me a call at 520 three, four, five, four, nine, four, seven.